If we want to audit Nakovac now, now, then we go for go seek presidential assent. The presidency is not auditor. What does that mean? It means say the auditor general has been directed and controlled. You see, remember I tell you about them, them, them um, proclamation the way world bodies they make under Lima. Under Lima, it say in the planning, execution, and reporting of the work of the Supreme Audit Institution, nobody, not for director, nobody, not for controller. You understand? No more for director, director general, no more for controller, director general. Which is the plan for do? Which is the execute? And which is one for report? So therefore, if that there can be the situation, and it's we do any audit, or in the, what we call like special audit, we report on separately. We need to go to president's post for they will get assent. It will touch amount to control. First issue we'll go look at inside the program this morning. Now, outside this BNTM, the Anti Corruption Commission, commission the Anti Corruption Commission, been pulled reports but waiting and fair not after some investigation, then we didn't do but alleged corruption. Them where Honorable Ibrahim Tawa Conte been say they upon the parliament. This investigation been take over one year, and some people and institution them they get concerned after we some party team them with the fair not been common at all. One party institution they are not the legal link. Outside the executive director for this organization, lawyer Rashid Dumbuya say, if the anti-corruption commission wants for begin do the work fair one, then for the independent body and law for their way for sure say, not to the president for appoint the anti-corruption commissioner. Lawyer Rashid Dumbuya explain more to the reporter Usman Kamara inside this interview. Many people may really want to see some tougher, you know, um, outcome or sanction, you know, against you know, allegations of corruption and the findings thereof. And in the report, we clearly see about two or three years, which I CCCF concludes, say, some members of parliament, you know, went overboard and they did not follow procurement I mean, procedures and processes. And even some may be for account, you know, for the uh, the money where they give them the... Eventually, some people are disappointed, even self we to some extent, because... Because that's we'll be really to the question, yes. say, if um, as legal link yes. organization, when I feel disappointed um, uh, with the outcome of the, the, the ACC um, concerning the parliament corruption allegation, then? On the one hand, we appreciate the in-depth I mean, investigation, but on the other hand, there are some things where we're not really happy with. Especially in the area outside the ACC, me clear, say, they find some one thinks one thing on some parliamentarians when they for account of the money then give them and of course some also some area also of procurement and uh, you know procedures and processes so here's the thing perhaps the the, the best you know option when we think say for don't apply and that if ACC find out say prosecution was perhaps too far a stretch then it should you know amount to to the evidential threshold I think asking for a refund would have been the, the best option you know, and uh, me we don't serve now the SEC as I'm, I'm state prosecutor and I understand, you know, the, the dynamics when it comes to corruption issue and the fight. I think there was a need there at the very least for ask for reforms. You know, that if we don't really, you know, come, you know, I mean, an in between, you know, um, situation where in, you know, you may not necessarily prosecute, but you could ask me then reform. In particularly in any area, they will say people you know if we account for the money then give them. These are, these are, these are um, 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 people's, I mean, people's money. So meeting that area day was, I mean, a, a, a stitch. And I think um, going forward, we, we recommend to the ACC for 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 be, become a little bit more hard on on some some of the outcomes there. So especially when when procurement processes were not followed and some losses occurred, and also where people cannot account for the money that we were given. At the very least, you know, Tawa don't exhibit a lot of. Statesmanship, you don't you don't show Sierra Leonean and say this is exactly how we for live with life and for fight a cause where where the presence of Nasalon don't call all of we for fight. 
we get honorable tower mm -hmm. on we monday program mm -hmm. this year um we mention again say even though acc don't pull the the, the report now do but still parliament corrupt you think say with them kind of thing yeah um the people will get confidence in the acc whenever it comes to investigation we get for do with present government officials if we now choose not for cooperate with the acc we don't choose the worst of the two evils all right and then it will be devastating for the country so let we continue for hold them to account as we do now call upon them side and they do bad and 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 check them seriously and try for call upon them like in this investigation i think they fall fell fell below the expectation of the public we need to get a whistleblower legislation separate from the provision already under the 2008 anti-corruption act because what's not clear and out there are many dynamics of whistleblowing now for example tower was a whistleblower initially and later but then later it, it transformed into suspect so how a law for cover that kind of person they you know be clear under the act and at some point they like, this like abandon them in a way and they be for technical like a suspect so we need a, a comprehensive law we will now differentiate the category and day. So if person initially be a whistleblower and then later become a suspect, there should be special provisions on how to deal with that kind of person. Because it don't help the commission in the first place forget, you know, information where relevant to a mandate. You so talk in about this area, area there we yes. need improvement. Yes. You know, we not like some of the area there. Yeah, I, I think ACC for yeah. improve so that um mm -hmm. then kind of thing they are not go repeat or people begin question the outcome of is this investigation anything? Yeah, so I think the biggest area for looking at the issue of selective justice. Many people don't call upon the way they say, Lord, talk to ACC, say, made them work on that day. They do very well in the area of, you know, recoveries, the area of even, you know, um, doing systemic in in interventions, you know, and the area of also international ratings. All that they good. Because people want to see, say, when this kind of government officials them, perhaps they face ACC. ACC should be very robust. For sure, say yes. Even if a government official under this regime, we no go, we no close with eyes. It's challenging. That is the truth. And me think say we need to go beyond, and even help for reform the act so that the president no will get the ultimate power for appoint the commissioner of the anti-corruption commission. That is in fact the, the biggest threat to the independence of the commission. I think say there should be a mechanism which I will appoint or, 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 or select, you know, the commissioner in ways way different from the president directly appointing him. So when he come to the office, he's emboldened, he's fearless, and he can even challenge the comment of the day without any fear of being dismissed from office. All right, that's uh, Rashid Dumbuya, in uh, the executive director for the Legal Links. It be the talk about the organization in position after way the anti-corruption commission been pulled this BNTM report of within a fair not after some investigation them wouldn't be do concerning alleged corruption them where Honorable Ibrahim Tawakonte be make some ten back say be there upon a parliament. Well, according to lawyer Rashid Dumbuya, he say the anti-corruption commission. Forget law them away for show say na independent institution and self not to the president for the appoint the anti corruption commissioner. The program with the listener Good Morning Salon, they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. Well, earlier, now one power headline story, the mobile on a say today na the program where they look inside the audit service salon, they work and concern them whether they come out this being them against the office. Well, um, for can talk about the audit service salon they work and self try for address some of them concerned there. So, we don't they come out against the office and the studio this morning. I want for welcome Selvin Bell, winner the deputy auditor general from audit service salon. Good morning, Mr. Bell, and welcome to the program. Good morning, it's a pleasure being here. All right, well, um, the audit service act of 1998, where parliament being reviewed inside 2014, they established the audit service salon. As an institution, we're responsible for conduct audits now. All government institution them, and after we then can don't conduct the audit here, then they pull reports them of waiting them fair not. But how then government institution they also they use public couple. But section 119 of the Salon 1991 Constitution say the audit service salon for be headed by the auditor general when a person where the president for appoints for head the audit service salon for ensure say then conduct proper audits them and pull various reports them. Well, from that time to now, the Auditor General and his team don't they conduct different audits them 
we get for do it institution them where they use public funds the latest one would have been pulled at the 2019 audit report and save the management of the covid 19 funds well from that end they within two reports they are come out plenty concern don't they come out Usa a question they know they can but the audit service sal salon they work well we can look inside and concern them they, but firstly let me start with mr bell i don't give um, a background as to how on our office they be established by an act of parliament where they be reviewed inside 2014. from where they be get this reviewed act of 2014 to now how the institution don't they operate um from that end to now as you say um all the services don't start even before the 1998 um, act um all the service and the institution will be the part of the normal government business and i'll be a department inside the government but Based on best practice, um, the government be think wise say all this all the service will be a separate institution, and that made them be passed in 1998 uh, Act of Audit Service, but it not become operational until 2004, and uh, we become operational. And in 2014, that act they be reviewed as you don't say. From that time to now, we don't continue for doing work across the of the or the, 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 the government. We don't they audit all the institutions of government. We don't they try to improve the capacity of the staff. We don't they get um, a lot of support from government in terms of doing work. You know, say every year, the way we do we work, that, that uh, we get a strategic plan, we have a five years plan. Mm -hmm. And that strategic plan, they, every year, we they broke down into operational plan. So when the year starts, the whole office will come together and look at all the entities that we get for audit. And prioritize the audit then. We get a lot of factors we use for prioritize the audit then. We can look at government government agenda. We look at um, the volume of money where they give the different institutions then. We look at the risk where they sell the institution there. All of them factors are going to determine which way which we go audit for the year. We divide it in different um, um, divisions. So we get a division where they look at ministries and local authorities. We get a division where they look at the public account and the, and the, um, and the parastatals. We get a division where we look at special audits and the, the department. And we get a division where basically in our administration we look at. So we all get a responsibility for doing work. So over the years, we do we work. When the year done, the, um, parliament, the constitution say before we report to parliament before the year end, that are December. So we the auditing areas. So last year, when it be 2020, we audit 2019. I mean, I call it 2019 report. This year, currently, we the audit 2020 activities. So when we're done for audit this year, by December, we go report to parliament. So that's basically what we do. But generally, we do different kinds of audits. We do what we call compliance audit, financial audit, and performance audit. These are all different kinds of audit. And all these are what we do so now based on international best practice, international standards. They tell us that they declare how for doing particular audit then. So for the compliance and financial audit, now they can decide the general report to send to parliament at the end of the year. But for performance audits, they will do them with the report separately to the parliament. That one because of the nature of the audit. So they can take past one year for do one great audit. So if you begin an audit in February, you get for done the next year, February, you know how we take the year done before you report. The performance okay. audits only the conduct and report to parliament. Now whose institution they only can conduct So audit, yeah. also the performance audits uh, based on the operational plan. Okay. So now we go to call area watching. So we we'll get a number of topics that we are looking to. These are topics you look into. Like we don't look um, um, the operation of the buses. We don't look how malaria. We don't look a couple of things. There. But when the year starts, we they say, okay, this 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 area, the priority area. They not do area watching. After the area watching, now we we'll determine. It's okay, now we audit this particular um, activity. But as I say, because it take a long time for complete. As we, as soon as we don't um, we can for report to parliament. No one for incorporate them into the autogenerous report we do every year. All right. So um, as you don't explain some of the work them we the audit service salon don't carry out, you know, look at the 2019, you know, um, audit report we just come out, you know. So from that end to now, how work don't turn for the institution? Okay, so I think I don't care for we don't care as an institution for I guess over the issue over and over. Um since the reports come out. Uh, you know, lots of public interest in this report, both positive and negative. You know, as auditors, we see ourselves as people that really help for develop the country by help ensuring that um, public financial management is properly done and that value for money in any money we government is spent. 
So people don't go like we. So people don't go like we. Especially people with the audience, this old man will like we. All the they get plenty, plenty, plenty party. So since this report don't come up, we don't get a situation where people they don't go out in the public social media, main media, or try for discredit on things inside the report. We don't over time try for clarify to the people of Sierra Leone. Um, we get a lot of challenges. I have to be very uh, frank in terms of this particular point that um, the politics around we report don't become a challenge because the report don't become like a political tool. We know why I be that and the monarchy don't be like. How politics they come inside? When I so report. I will just try to give, give an example. If you go back 10 years ago, all the work that we would do when the new government came, then work really form the basis of the COI. So if you look at the COI, waiting and discussing at the COI, 80% of the issue in the emanates from the audit reports. No issue there, so I will give I will be witness in a COI. A couple of my colleagues there also go be witness in a COI, based on the report that we will pull. So now there is this tension. People that will use this report for their own individual purposes. Would I will use them for purpose in name, we use them. Would I will use them for defend, we are not happy about it, right one for defending him. So then they bring a lot of tension. Because that we don't observe, there is a lot of tension around the report. Since we don't issue this report out with the COVID report, there has been a lot of tension. But we, as an institution, we get to remind it. We manage enshrined in the Constitution of Sierra Leone. And we have responsibility now for do that work the way they give it for doing inside the Constitution of Sierra Leone. And we all the service acts and all the other relevant acts the way they talk about we work. So basically, even with the tension, we they continue for for do we work. You just make mention, say, tension day around on our work lately, especially people who want to use the audit report on our pool at their advantage, and poor other people learn him. With all this tension we centered around on our work, it don't reach to the point where the institution don't feel like, say, on they be intimidated or on they get a free space for conduct on our audit them. So if I, if I try to lay a platform on this, you see, with Supreme Audit Institution, the most important aspect of our institution is the independence of the institution. If you're not independent, you're not going to be able to do the work you do. So, you see, when I come, I talk about we do work according to all its standards. Where back in the, in the years, they got, a, they got what they call the called Lima Declaration. That Lima Declaration is say all supreme all institution will be independent from the government. Independence to all its institutions are like the saltiness of salt to salt. If salt lost the saltiness, you're not going to use it again. It's equally, if audit service are alone or any supreme audit institution not be independent from the people where they audit, automatically you're not going to be doing work. Now, that independence, they get two facts. It gets, it gets in substance and in form. In form, it means say, per law. If they enshrine in the law, say we're supposed to be independent. And God, to, to, to speak, the laws declare about your independence. If you go to the 1991 constitution, they say the Auditor General get rights for access all information, all books of government. He also says in subsection 6, Auditor General cannot be controlled or directed in the conduct of, of his duty. In this case, now, Uma will get in her duty. You understand it? But also, you have to be in substance. That means what we do work every day, we never feel intimidated. If we the actual money, you know, saying the paragraph of two things, you get financial independence and you get operational independence. With financial independence, we're not going to be 100% independent from God because government is good money. And we'll talk about that more. But when it comes to operational wise, we should be absolutely independent. But with all of this tension and with the, the, the new things that we see, it's like this functional independence one for be questioned and put under 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 question under questioning. All right. So um as you rightly mentioned, say um una don't get pressure this being term. Now look at who sign some of the area them? Who that na the particular institution or people they want to get um, pressure for? No, I don't, want, I don't want to go into specifics for say this particular institution we get problem with them or not get problem with them because inside the, the space of governance we need to work with all man in a way that we go. Why should we want to be independent and be objective in doing work? We also don't want to feel too pressured in doing we work. So we're not get any specific institution, but we get situation. You do, if you look social media, you look at um, 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 the mainstream media, there is a lot of things going on. We we are not too happy about, but we decide for do we work as we, we we require for do we work. All right. All right. Continue for the week winner the program. In case you just tune in, you listen to the deputy auditor general from Audit Service Salon. In name now Selvin Bell. Today now the program will look at Audit Service Salon the work. 
And later on, we'll go look at concern them, wouldn't they come out from the public, but question them, wouldn't they ask against the office? Um, Mr. Bell, now we come back in the area of on our work, on don't they do for conduct various um, audits and poll reports where normally on a can go in a parliament for the attention of member of parliament them for let them go debate them and look inside some of the issues them we on a outline inside the audit report on a can pull. But before that, arguments on the come lately about the issue of paying audit fees into the consolidated fund. Now one area that they will see us arguments on the come out say the audit service salon office no get right for pay into the consolidated fund and other party they say we not supposed for pay them. In that area they what in exactly the audit service salon supposed for do. So let us start by also laying the platform. You understand? Um audit service salon, we get the responsibility for audit all institutions in this country. But also the laws no say in all so in all circumstances we'll get all the resources in terms of human resources financial resources and capacity wise for do all the audit by itself. So the law provides say in the conduct of his duty, the Attorney General he outsource some audits to private audit firms. You understand? So as we do work we can outsource we work to private audit firms. And the all the law also say if you go to the PFM Mark twenty sixteen, apart from institution within the central government and the local authorities, all other institutions will pay audit fees. So I will give an example. Like for example Nasit will pay audit fee. ACC go pay audit fees, MPPA go pay audit fees. All the they pay audit fees for the work we do. Now, as I remember, I tell you, say, we will start the year, we get an operational plan. Where they determine whose work that we want for do and whose work they will also want for outsource. So for them, one day, they pay audit fees. If we do the work, they get for pay audit fees to we. If we outsource the work to a private audit firm, they get for pay directly to the private audit firm. For them, they will, get the, for them, they will inculcate. The, the culture of paying audit fee. When we do our own, when other person do our own, they need to pay this audit fee. But also, in we act, he say, the Auditor General, we go to 27 of we act, he say, the funding of the Auditor General. The Auditor General in administrative cost, in salaries and other things, then, could be a charge on the consolidated fund. But you also say, then private audit firm, they will do audit. Then one day, we're not to subvent an agency. That means to say, they don't receive money from the consolidated fund. When they pay we money, we for keep this money as part of the overall budget and for use them as we, we deem fit. Usually, we use this money basically for training, for training staff, for getting capacity. Over the years, at least we don't happen. We will audit an institution where they will take the consolidated fund, we will receive the money every quarter, we will pay the money back into the consolidated fund. For the one that we not they receive money, for example, NASIT, the Airport Authority, Saradun Port Authority, we don't pay the money to we. We take this money, we use them for the administrative purpose. Now, also, I'll make sure it's clear because this amount we keep is part of our overall budget. We will do budget every year. If we want, I'll give you a simple scenario. If we don't assess, say, what we want for the year, now, 10 billion euros, we will say to government, we want 10 billion euros. But out of this 10 billion, we hope for, co for um, get audit fees of 2 billion. And this 8 billion, now we want to give it. Government now within the fiscal waiting said they will say, okay, we know we're gonna eight billion, we're gonna seven billion. So that seven billion day plus the two billion we expect for get for audit fee, then will be with overall budget, all they present to the Minister of Finance, and we will go defend our parliament. And every year, we we'll go parliament, those who can go defend with budget, the last year budget, and for the approval of the next budget. All of this information is made public, all of this information is captured in our, our financial statements. And you know, say parliament now in the um, uh, appoint auditors for audit fee. So all this money, the government money, oh, the money we will get from the audit fees, oh, if we get donor money, oh, all of this money is subjected to an audit by, by the, the, the auditor of the parliament who appoint. Now, since 2018, we start to get this challenge about whether there was, it came into existence an act of 2017, they called Fiscal Management Control Act. We list about six entities then, we suppose for the part of the act. We take and say we know the day. Based on the interpretation and the general interpretation. So we continue for what we told the money. In 2018, when um, the new government can of power and the president pulled an executive order for make everybody pay a money into the consolidated fund, we were copied in that letter. We, that letter was sent to we. So when I said so we, we assume say they, we said for the part of them. So we wrote to the secretary to the president for the president's attention for give clearance on this matter. The president, through the secretary of the president, right to we say, 
audit service, not the part of this. So they write the, the financial sector. We're not supposed for contribute to the consumer. We're not supposed for pay. I will explain all highly in detail. So after all this situation, this thing still continue. So we wrote a letter to the Solicitor General, to the Attorney General's office to the Solicitor General for the clearance on this matter. We get a response, we say, we are not part, we are not a revenue generating office for government. So we are not part of this situation. So we've been, we've been keeping our monies from that day, tell it to now. Only for all receive a letter recently that we owe about 3.6 billion. Letter from there. From the financial sector. Okay. That we owe um, about 3.6 billion for payback to the consolidated fund within 14 days. Okay. And we were taken aback because we got all the documents there way clear. But also accompanied with that letter day is um, the solicitor general also give an opinion. We have a new opinion, way different from the opinion we will be getting before. So when we see this thing, we have to respond. We respond and say, wait a minute, we get this solicitor general, the last solicitor general opinion. We get this letter from president where he clearly say, we're not supposed to be part of all of these things. So this has been the argument. But let me let me state one thing. So so during the term we I don't forward the letter then they, or don't explain to the FS about um the different letter we don't get from president and so what may be in response towards that. Okay, so I'll come to that. So so recently, um inside this week, um the um Auditor General began a meeting with the Speaker of Parliament, and that meeting the, the FS office was represented on this same issue as to witness the concern about whether we make no one for people monitor the, the law, legal issue, all of that. So, um, waiting the, like, the agreement now, we will say they look at um, the FS office say it's not about them wanting to control we because also this issue now for, for we independence. When you look at say, this money, it's part of our budget. If somebody begin say for people in a treasury single account, then a letter in will give you or a keeper, it will be like a control issue. But the office maker and class, the FS office maker and class, it's not about them wanting to control audit service, but they want to get a bigger picture of all government revenue. So what then they propose is that there will be an account opened in a bank of Sierra Leone, where we go to pay this when we get an audit loss, for example, we audit NASIT, we will give NASIT that account number day. And pay the money to the account. But that account will be controlled by audit service agency. You get me? So audit service agency will never responsible for withdrawing money for that account. And we will get unrestricted access to the money. We, we're kind of okay with this because we don't get a global picture. But what we're still concerned about, about the fact that audit service is not a government agency with really generating revenue for government. So audit service don't agree for this um, um, proposal where Shh. the financial sector in your office make? So when you consider that, as I say, the concern is, we don't want for the audit service to be seen as an agency where they generate revenue for government. That's not our work. I give you the perspective. Let me tell you, the work we do, we need resources for doing. If a private audit firm go audit bank of Sarah, go audit um, Zenith Bank, for example, now it has to be paid for that service. You get me? Eh? Similarly, audit service in a way is being paid for the service we render to government. But because we deal within government space, this subvention where government they provide we. For with salaries and for with other charges. Now, basically, they pay we for do this work. So we need to generate revenue for government. I will give you an example. Within the Afro side, the Afro side, uh, which is safe. South Africa, for example, they don't receive subvention from from government. What do they do? If they want to go audit Minister of Finance, for example, then we'll send them bill. Minister of Finance pay them. If they want to go audit Minister of Agriculture, so then they actually invoice the, uh, the agency and uh, the agency they pay them. Because when you look at when you look at the grand scheme of things, the money where government they provide for we now for do the service, we are like a like a payment. We will not generate revenue for government. And now come and think about it. Look, look at the quantum we involved. This money it go a big ten of two billion euros. Take two billion euros and think about the government budget. We now so it will be like a six trillion. This now zero point zero zero something percent. Even if one gets a global picture, with or without these two billion, it will make little or no difference in the grand scheme of affairs. You understand? Eh? So we know what the narrative for say all the service they generate revenue for government. We do not generate revenue for government. But if for the cash, you call it now for the cash flow situation, the one for the CDs money and report on them, I think that's until they consider whether we can move the account because now the account is a local commercial bank. We could just move and go to the bank of Sierra Leone. This is basically what will be done. So going forward, every new side will go audit, we'll give them 
the account of the Bank of Sierra Leone, they paid to Bank of Sierra Leone. So that are basically the situation. Is All right. So um, as you rightly say, you don't explain um, different things for let the public understand. So per institution, we want to go um, audit. We don't like the amount or the, the fee we want to ask them for. So the fees we they charge to institution be, are based on various uh, determinants, various factors. So if one, the complexity of the institution. Two, the number of staff who will put into that institution, the, the caliber of staff who will put, the time duration will take. So, for example, if you take Ministry of Agriculture, for example, like a big ministry, the time we will spend it for audit them, and the time we will audit one small agency like uh, NPPA, it will be different. So, that then are the, are the thing that will determine the audit fee. So, you know, fixed, no fixed fee. It determine, it determine on the complexity, the risk of the entity, the number of staff who will send it, and the time who will spend it. So the audits, audit fees are varies based on the entity and all the factors they were on this. I don't tell you so. Mr. Bell, I bring you back to on our work and the effectiveness. For the on our able for doing our work independent one according to the Act and the Constitution we establish on our office. On our need um, finance, on our need funding for mm. able for conduct various audits, the money they do not MDs them. In terms of the effectiveness and how not only get this um, on a budget or subvention, how it don't they flow? So as I say, we are part of uh, uh, governments, and government generally not get money. We we, we not we not oblivious of that fact because the ones they wait from the citizen and the things that we government want for the government priorities, then plenty. So government not get money. But I have to be true when I talk about this. Over the past years, up to the while they talk to you now, we have had a good relationship with Ministry of Finance. Um, we can send you a budget, then we'll tell you what you can get, and that amount will tell you, say, now when I hear this, true to speak, before the year done, we will receive all that amount. And there are a lot of times where you don't give you priorities. Why is that? They wait for give people, other people the money. If we write, say, we want to go do, we work, they can give you your money. We they get with money up to last year, up to the end of the year. We get with money them for the whole period, and we get them on time. And I will say the money, when they give you, you do, because we have got a long wish list. But, Based on what they know, allocate to we, and what we can get, we can receive them. Um, this year, we not receive nothing. So from January to, it don't be the 18th, 18th of, 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 of March, we not receive money. And this is, this is worries for me a little bit. So you think, say, um, the back and forth memo, the memo don't come up between on our office and the, that of the Ministry of Finance responsible for the delay? I know, I know, why, I know why I specifically say so. It is, it's, it is a possibility. I don't want to say, yes, then make cannot good money. Because what can happen, we okay, cannot be at say by February, we not, we not receive money. We can now write to the, the minister and the FS for say, you know, say we can start council audit. You know, say council audit, they do all over the country. And we're going to send, we staff them. We go audit all them councils, the 21 councils. And definitely, we will need for provide money them for the per diem, for the accommodation, and for facilitate their movement in field and all that things there. And the budget is really, is really big. So we can tell them and say, well, we can start to, once that we work for the councils, then we'll, can we receive our first we're going to quarterly the money? The money they divide divide into four quarters and split them and give it. So by then tell them, really, we can only get. So we we'll hope, say, probably before this, this okay. week, they don't or next week, we will receive money. We'll just open, but we'll not receive money. Yet. All right. So as you rightly do explain the good relationship with it between Una with the finance ministry. Now, the public, waiting on the out of the public, now that it seems as if um, audit service and finance ministry, not the see one side again. So waiting at the issue, we make, you know, Una the gets the challenge there right now. We up till now, as you see, Una not receive on a, on, a, on, a, on a budget yet. So I know I know I know I say specifically say we are Ministry of Finance, not the Z one side. Because um, the Ministry of Finance are a key stakeholder for all the service I do. Like any other office, we do not Sierra Leone. Um, the challenge, as I say, you know, I say who pays the Piper Constitution and financial independence, although you're not going to be hundred percent independent financially, but you have to be independent in some way. So let's make the best in best practice, the good practice all over the world now. Now, for make what they operate Westminster system. Now, for make we budget where the year starts for ring fence. And so, we don't tell we say you they get 10 billion in some jurisdiction. That 10 billion, the first of January, they don't put in your account. All the 10 billion. So, nobody will influence when you go receive them, how you go receive them. We do understand the financial uh, problems that we are younger. But we said they looked forward to that situation we are in. You go reach a point in time. 
where we could put this full money inside this account and do them. The challenges are many, as I say, and it continues to be a challenge. But we're not a civil self like we do at Logger Ends with the Ministry of Finance. But yes, we, we get misunderstanding about how for deal with the, 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 the um, audit fees. And I think, say, at some point, we will get to a point where we will meet and agree how we will move forward. Right. The only side will be get concerned that we Ministry of Finance with the right to we say we will go pay back 3.2 billion, which was not okay. All right. Continue for day with we in the program. Selvin Bell, Deputy Auditor General from Audit Service Salon. They will look at their work and some concern them where don't they come out but then work. Um, when they come back to you, Mr. Bell, after all the challenges, the way you explain, say, when I don't they get, especially they all get for do with the audit service paying, the audit fees on a KGC from institution them into the consolidated fund. With all them back and forth here, when I feel, say, at this point, when I don't be restricted for doing our work, because um, I understand, say, this being them, when I want to go audit NACOVAC concerning the money when they get from the COVID-19 testing from people who want for travel, but when I still they get challenged for get response from NACOVAC. So, like you say, um, we, the Constitution clearly mandates we not for be directed or control. Um, but recently, we get the vibes like um, people want for begin for direct and control the auditor general in conduct of our duty. Like you mentioned, the issue of NACOVAC, uh, we, we, the audit service are alone, the way we do the work, we they assess risk generally. And if we see any specific service, we see the risk eye of public man management of funds, mismanagement of funds, or revenue or anything, we can automatically go. The reason I make we do the, the COVID audits, and the same reason I make we do the Ebola audit in 2015. So, as a follow up to the audit of um, the NACOVAC, we look, say, a lot of money is being generated through this um, testing, mm -hmm. and we want to see, say, controls they make um, so we don't we'll misuse this money. So, as an office, we decided, say, we need to look into that. As you rightly say, we get challenged right now for do that audit because we, the NACOVAC, not signed up to the engagement letter, we will send it. And there is this that, issue, that, that um, no, Mr. Bell, there is this issue of um, audit service, suppose forget presidential accents before on a get the authority for go do the testing, then they've been come up from NACOVA? So they not specifically say that, they say they will get back to me. Um, I want to make, I want to guide the discussion, maybe waiting on, on paper. Because okay. when somebody writes formally, that's what you should go address. But also, as I say, we get this vibe from very senior quarters there. Say, audit service, we you want to do special audits, you for write to the, you for seek presidential assent for do this. And most times, then they quote sub, um, section 119, subsection 7. That portion of the Constitution, you see, subsection 6 say, the auditor general in the conduct of our duty shall not be directed or controlled. Now, when it comes to subsection 7, it tells you, say, notwithstanding, waiting in subsection 6, the president, at the, put time, at the paraphrase, mm -hmm. the president can request the auditor general based on public interest through cabinet or through parliament for audit any specific institution where they mention under subsection 2. What that means to say the public account, the court, the university, all anything. Government can request. I will give an example. In the past, government requested for the Saturday work. Under the last administration, the former president requested for audit from CSOs then, who will be do and we report on them. Inside this new administration, when, when power change and when we get in this administration, um, under the GTT report, a recommendation was there that uh, we do a technical audit. When the Ministry of Finance, with the, with the blessing of the president, be right to we, to audit service to the Auditor General, for request the Auditor General for do an assignment. You know the word request mean you can accept or you decline. can turn and down, you can, you can decline. Request don't mean an order. So we understand in this, if president gets, an, gets some thing where he fit to say, for the best interest of government or for the people of Sierra Leone, we need to look into this particular base. It can write to the general for do that work. Today. But now the vibe so they get is that that section they mean say if we want to do special audit, we for seek presidential assent. Let me explain. I'll take some time for explain. There is nothing within section 119 where even mention special audit. There is nothing. Now the reason we could call some audit a special audit now because we require to report them on, on them separately. You know, say the, the constitution say we for submit report to parliament, a report to parliament or, or, at the end of the year. So what we don't do all we work, when the year they done, we do that all the general reports. But also, there can be issues there like the corona, the Ebola audits, 
the COVID audit, then performance audit them. We require we for report immediately as soon as we don't. Then we will refer to a special audit. So then we will don't do them, and then we can report to parliament. But the special, the special, the word special in that phrase day, now the timing of reporting. You get me? Because we can still do that work in the day. We wait till the year done, we put it inside the the auditor general say report will report to Mr. parliament. Mr. Bell, in all them challenges yeah, where you explain, it clearly shows the interpretation of the different laws then we establish the audit service and the laws they wanna don't they use for conduct on our audit them, it look they get challenged for interpret them. And normally we don't they see outside parliament can kind say we issues then like this can come up. Somebody go on for ask the question now, say in all of them confusion there about other get right for do this and do that, outside parliament they at this point. Okay, so we at some point we will engage parliament. But you see, interpretation of the law, not to parliament data. Parliament only make law. When it comes to interpretation of law and the judiciary, let me wear three different arms of government, the executive, the legislature, and, 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 and the judiciary. So we understand this as, 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 as we well, don't want to say layman, layman. But when you get interpretation of law, all man, we don't see the situation where we get this thing about vice president. We went to the Supreme Court. I say the outside country. parliament, they, because let's take you back to some years. We don't see outside parliament being kind, say. With some confusion be there between Parliament and the Anti Corruption Commission. At one point, one have been pulled an audit report about other get rights for looking inside the report force. So, Normally, Parliament can come inside some of them. So, because there. that one they be directly related to Parliament, because you know, say the the the, the, the reporting mode with the report to Parliament and Parliament level sits. The document become a public document because they may get a study in order long since. Maybe they say, unless Parliament look into the report, nobody no get rights. For watch the report, for talk about the report, but we be don't move past that one day. We be don't get a situation we are in. As soon as we lay the report in Parliament, we put them. It become a, we never discuss them actually, but we make the, the, the world know about them. We become a public document. We upload on our website. So because that situation will be include Parliament, because Parliament is get the get a primus over the issue of discussing the report, and because an issue with ACC, we are think at that point yeah. they be don't try for solve them. This matter now, we well, as an office, we wait till we get official communication on this matter. Because with the area and uh, corners, somebody will talk um, in meetings, they will not go before discussing public. Okay. But if somebody now writes to we formally for say, wait a minute before you can do this work for me, go see President Ascent, we will take a phone. But that is vibes that they get. And that is very, very, very unfortunate. All right. So if, if, if that happened for Le Una, the seek the, 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 the consent of the president, you know, this get for effect on a work in any way? Very much so. And the law not say we for seek, I want to make it clear, the law not say we for seek presidential assent. If they want to do that, it means an operational control. Let me explain, for example. If we want to audit Nakovac now now, they will go for go seek presidential assent. The president say no auditor. What that mean? It means say the auditor general has been directed and controlled. You see, remember I tell you about them, them, them um, proclamation the way world bodies they make under Lima. Under Lima, it say in the planning, execution, and reporting of the work of the Supreme Audit Institution, nobody, not for director, nobody, not for controller. You understand? Nobody for direct the auditor general. Nobody for control the auditor general. What they plan for do? What they execute? And what they want for report? So therefore. If that can be the situation, and say we want to do any audit, or in what we call like special audit, we report on separately. We need to go to president's post for they will get assent. It go that amount to control. All right, continue for the week the program. Selvin Bell, Deputy Auditor General. Um, let we relax now and listen to this music. <laughs> Sell King James. Mama Salona, we own and we only for being defender. Whether you did party A party B, we only for come together. Sky by was in no the pay, and that that's we only for remember. Say and that's we love Mama Sayal, you need until we suffer. With all the riches and virtues, them all we get. We can make this land as a better place for we. Dream of senses and the bitches, we get everything for make Salon go be good for we. We just need for love with self now. Papa God self go help, 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 help. We just need for help with self. Papa God self go help. 
Why we forget we sell for When we need for the help we sell for Mama said we need we help for United we stand and divide that we fall So why we forget we sell for When we need for the help we sell for Mama said we need we help for Together we stand and divide that we fall Una let we focus Take with time and let we understand Mama Salon, now we only motherland. The country banner, yes, we know, but the freedom where we get here, yeah, because you know, go get them now another land. This not the time for let we vex fet. Not to the time this at all for let we tight bet for push fet. This not the best time for no say development, not race on your marks, all for all, let we get set. This country has so many investors, we lack Bakuti, the medicators who we need from the right source. The clean water for the gun, free medical for the two with disposal party, not to pass our death nurse. No matter your money or your power, now you mind you for no say salon big for we all know. No to for today, now for tomorrow and bambay. If salon fall trust, now we all follow. So why we forfeit we sell for? When we need for the help we sell for. Mama salon need we help for. United we stand and divide that we fall. So why we forfeit we sell for? When we need for the help we sell for. Mama salon need we help for. Together we stand and divide that we fall. Cash on the hit me. Song title together, and uh, I managed to do that song day for we inside the program. Good morning, salon. We they come back to Selvin Bell, we are the deputy auditor general from Audit Service Salon. As today, we they look at them work and concern and challenges them where they do they get during the term where they can conduct various audits. Them, um, Mr. Bell, one issue where don't they come up, especially ten they will not can just follow and report them from the various MDA the owner can audit and publish now the issue of the term where the auditor then can go for go conduct the audit certain documents them not can ready then ten in the but the institution then can provide the documents and data but so not able for capture the again in sound report. Okay so um I think we don't do a lot in terms of educating the public on the audit process. The audit process is not so a one day process not so like we go today we go audit for commodity. It takes time. The audit process starts with engagement letter. We write to the person say, we can audit you. We, we will need the documents there. We cannot attach the document we can need at the back of the engagement letter. With all the terms and agreements of the, the audits, what do we do? We do what is our responsibility? What is our responsibility? And they can sign up. If I don't sign up to the engagement letter, I mean to say, you can for Kalo can audit you. We go to the place now. But the greatest challenge we will get is the availability of documentation. There are times you do go, you go not sit on the side one week, two weeks. You go to the audit, the audit on premises, they wait for documents. And what simply they feel for realize the audit process they start where you provide the document to the auditors for do the audit. This has been a challenge. Now I will talk to you fast forward, I will come to current situation. Now, what should they do? And we only do one in the past, now for documents. So if we ask you for general ledger today, inside one week, you not give it, we write you a reminder. And now what they say like in mind that they will make sure you sign for receive that letter day. Put in our book and keep that book day. As of yesterday, I've been mean, review my team the way the audit, I know we call the MDA in them. I get for call the votes controller for say, you staff them. And we don't write letters, I don't write three separate letters then. I say up to now, we'll conclude this audit this week. You staff them, still not give you documents yet. This is a challenge. The challenges with audit are many. But also, the challenge in India, apart from the availability of documents, and the fact that they transfer people, like they can't lose them. They could go to this council now. Mr. A, and don't do for more years, starts to now. They will take care of the transfer from both city council, they can't go to city council. Then a, a new challenge begin Because the new man will come, most times, then they do handing over, or then they do taking over. They don't get, they don't get access to information, they don't know what to be happy within the period. Then the challenges begin for even provide answers provide documentation and things like that. This is the second challenge. But the other challenge we get, there are a lot of people within the MDs that are not capable for doing the work where they put them for do. Okay. So I have to be very frank. You know, when I make we go audit, usually we can look at the recruitment process. For CC, if they say Mr. A, an accountant, he able, he get the qualification, he get the experience for be an accountant. All right, so when I can find out the issue then, the waiting um, as audit service, what do I can do in terms of advice so, as I, what we do, you know, I make we find out the easy for the problem because you always see problem. If you go audit somebody, you don't meet proper account or you don't meet document, you want to know what to do. That they call it the root cause. So, if we go and if I say the root cause now by recruitment or training, what will they do with report? By the recommendation, will tell you say the 
Mercredi, il faut que tu te Let the process go be keep up sitting for long. But if we go meet, you recruit people away. You not go through any recruitment process. We can put out a report saying the recruitment process not right. You not going through an open competitive basis, and therefore, then they lead to all this problem the way you get within your office. So ministry them um wanna can give a recommendation here to don't they take them recommendation here serious? Ah uh, well, the biggest challenge. Like when I can say the biggest challenge for all these services, the issue of implementing our recommendations. This is what today. This from 10 years ago, from 15 years ago, this has been in Chile. That was a time, and I think so we still do one inside the report. We can put the level of implementation of the recommendation. We will say 30%. We usually move between 30 to 40% implementation. I mean to say 60% of the recommendations are not implemented by government. All right. Now, um, plenty concern again from the public and the right up we don't they are on social media now that audit service alone you not know, the work in the interest of the country um on a on a try for blackmail the government so let me let me I'll put it this way when the auditor general take up office she took an oath you understand she took an oath to protect the constitution of Sierra Leone. she took an oath for say no ma all manner of people in this country I will be fair to them, without fear or favor, without, without ill mind or without anything. So she took an oath, and we did report and work on behalf of the people of Sierra Leone. We know party bias, we know color bias, we know tribe bias, we know regional bias. We work now for ensure say probity day in governance, now for ensure say value for money day who will spend the government's money, and we now for the people of Salo we work for. And as far as God give the strength, we will always support the Auditor General, and the Auditor General will always ensure say, that responsibility we take an oath for, for reports on matters of governance to the people of Sierra Leone, no matter what's in the situation, whether people call them black men or not call them black men, the responsibility is to do the right thing, and we will continue to do the right From thing. From all which you don't explain, not to secret say, serious challenge day, na audit service for doing our work. And presently, we are conduct the audit for pull the 2020 audit report later on this year. How then challenge are they affect the ongoing audit? So, as I say, the challenges they know most of them on you, except for the situation where we are beginning to see direction and control into the job of the auditor general. But generally, the the, the, the challenges there are like ongoing challenges there. We still like, get constraints now for get if, documents if, for people. Get, according to you, they get the vibe say certain quarter. Ones for control on our work, and presently when they conduct the audit for pull the 2020 audit reports, how them challenges that they affect the ongoing so, audit? So, like I mentioned to you, the issue specifically is not about the general work we do. That you know, no, no, ever tell me anything. And the normal, Paul, the normal officer, you know, give you documents, and we will always the report. The issue of somebody want control, we now with their special audit. And then they ask and when it come up, because I don't say at some point, because we don't get the vibes, we, we sit on the wait for a formal response for say, no go do this work, I go to president. When that point they come, as an office, we go sit up, go look all the means available to we for seek redress in a matter and take, take the matter up. But since we don't get any official communication yet, you understand, eh? we go on with the situation of we go do we work for the year and no one will control me. All right, one issue we um, come up inside the last report, get for the with the generator. You know, um, institution them, they say, na, na, na audit service, no salon, me make small mistakes in terms of the, 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 the what of the, the, the generator. Um, una they say, then say na 65, then una me go see 50. So una me do able rectify this particular issue. No, there's, there's, um, there's nothing to rectify. The audit has said, audit now a whole long, to take a boring self process. Because what will they do as auditors? Now for look at information. I think, say, my colleagues there in Uber, I will not even explain the issue of generation. I will just go briefly on that no more. And I will give you a scenario. If you, get, if you tell me, say, you get phone when I 265 megabytes or what you call a gigabyte space in the tick. Hmm? As you tell us, so all the documents say, they are going to see phone where they take 500 megabytes. I say, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't look at all the documents now. They are saying, I see this phone physically. Then you bring phone that one 500 gigabytes in the tick. I'm not going to believe, say, that phone where they on record. Like in now one day. This is the situation of um, 
that generator. We don't deal with them. It didn't report. We don't say we report go parliament. Parliament don't sit on the report. And parliament is left to parliament for report to the executive on that matter. But we don't do your own party. We don't uh, we don't do it in constitutionally we are mandated to do. We don't have a report to parliament on that matter. By the um, look of things and the way the issues and they unfold, especially with the new uh, media now, when are the social media, various like top them, it can like say now government versus audit service. Now, so the working relationship supposed for the? No, well, the working relationship not to government versus audit service. The working relationship now, audit service has to be independent and independent enough to be able to do the work. So that's what we strive for. That's what we always want to strive for, for all being independent and able for report to the people of Sierra Leone. We no one talk for the government, for say we did as against them. I don't know if the government they feel that way they, if they feel that way they, I think when I can get in again, I will ask them if they feel that way they. But we all work based on principles, based on rules, based on procedures. Then principles, rules, and procedures that they will follow. So if we go, let's say if we do this rule, for do A, B, C, you not do them, we go right up. If you do them, we know, except for reports you do. So if possible, not, let me not tell you one thing. Eh? There are institutions in this country where they go audit. Where they go, not see nothing wrong. So you don't go see in a lot of general report. Like which one them? Well, most of the, most of them projects them. Because the projects are, they are properly controlled. You know, projects where World Bank, they give money, ADB, they give money. They also they provide that supervision over the operations. So most times with the project, they would go, and they get qualified people eh? Most of the project, the financial management expert, not chartered accountant. The procurement person could be an experienced person. The MNE person could be an experienced person. So because they get, one, the, the, the willingness for do the right thing, and two, they get the, 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 the qualification and the experience for do the right thing, we're not going to get issue with them projects. Then. There's this question when they come up lately, say, who that they audit the auditor general? <laughs> so don't say a lot of right up on that, and I'll be careful to explain that where I start. Mm. The, the, the Constitution of Sierra Leone, 119, I think subsection 809, say parliament and get the power for appoint an auditor for audit auditor general. So every year, even as I speak to you now, we don't do a report. By February, we could not know. We send and go parliament. Parliament and they appoint the, the auditors. So now we wait for parliament for send an auditor. So we will not influence the situation. No. And then they decide who they want for the car audit three. We can't, they can audit three and make the books available. All right. So during the process there, whether they can audit on a, you know, how on a don't they inform the public about the findings them we the audit of them, you know, the the, the get from on a. We report we we audit a report always in our website, and I tell you now we the audit we audit the car like I can see them all the go this the 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 project them, we only get nasty for right. Now so we audit the can we because of we robust internal control system because of the willingness for do the right thing. When they cancel you, when they look with processes and procedures, they look with books, they look with the numbers that we account. Every year now, we they get a clean opinion and also they get a clean management letter. All right. Um, now we look at few of the text messages then. We don't come for you, Mr. Bell. Okay. And um, go we'll try for answer to them. The first one I they read, they come out from Mystic Dwazak from the <coughs> Facebook page. It is a hands off our auditor general. The auditor general, neither the audit service, are not responsible for the massive misappropriation of public funds by the current administration. In fact, they should embrace the auditor general for such a good job over the years. Thumbs up. This other one say the distribution of funded tractors among private sectors for the uses of our farmers within the country is order to achieve the aims and objective of the new direction government of President Bill. It is timely and welcoming news for us as Sierra Leonean, most especially for those that are involved in our cultural um, activities. This other one, they say, waiting that account they get for do with Ministry of Finance and Cash Flow, you know, make one sense not to money finance for use in their daily activities. So how it connects to the cash flow? Also, not to revenue within generate for government or taxway and area of finance go see the need for factor into the annual collection. All not just ploy for and twist audit service because they know I make the expose the corruption we um don't they happen inside three years. They want for the old the money for staying the work effectively we not full, make governments left audit service suffer. Okay, this other one from my Facebook page say what they said during campaign is completely different from what they are doing now. During opposition days, 
They said the APC is mismanaging our country's resources, but now they are doing the wrong thing. From NZI Amarana Facebook page, they say the relevance and reliability of audits cannot ever be in doubt. As such, the audits profession must work with global regulators to ensure unwavering confidence by investors in the professionalism and integrity of the auditors who perform the work and in the relevance, transparency, and reliability of audits. Therefore, government should interfere not with their job. We move. This other one say how genuine the audit service salon then will be. All right. Well, from their messages, then they would they come back to Selvin Bell for let try for respond. Okay. So thank you. Um, all the people that we don't um, send their text messages they in. It is clear that most of the people in the on we side um, in terms of which we they talk, um, except for the last post we say how genuine we work be. And uh, we work we don't do all, all, all over the years. Speak volume for which we don't do. Um, if you go back even 15 years, we report the whole day on the website. They should say as best as possible. We tell with, within the resources where we get. We don't need to do the best. And we they continue for try to do the best. As an institution, we know they say we don't arrive at that point where we don't get um, issues there for sort out. But we they try every year. We are a learning institution. And make we they spend so much money but we staff them for them we then get the experience where they need. We are an institution we get I think it's in the country right now, we get the most number of the highest number of qualified accountants. We got about thirty, we they home grown them, then revenue how they receive from there. All these fees there, and they will they use for some staff them for go study outside, for go get experience, training, pay for the ACCA. We do all of this. So that boss will say how credible we work be. We work speak volume over the years, and we will continue for improve, and we will continue for improve. We, we mandate now for support government in ensuring uh, and financial management is proper. Probably today within financial management and value for money day, and we will continue for do that. We all have people that we talk positive things here. We will continue for do it. We 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 don't need to. Uh, All right. Do it, so. This one say, uh, what is your best wish for transparency and accountability, and your worst fears? So, my best wish now for a situation we will get operational, fully operational independence and financial independence. We wish now that it will be a point in time now, Salome, Once we go for a budget, we say we want fifteen billion. Then we we'll give that fifteen billion day. Then we we'll put her. Then we we'll ring fence them. If government not get all the money. Government will ring fence the money, but if government got the money at the start of the year, then we'll put in our account and we'll go before user. We me was fear, and I believe that it was fear of the audit office that the too much politics will not come around with reports. And this issue of control we won't come inside. This at least it could be what fear because now the politics will not come with reports and it leads to all of the things that will get the vibe say. And people want for being control. Well, somebody go and say this is not a new thing. If over the years, any time we um the Auditor General pulling reports, so many conversations can happen in about that report, especially on the issues of misappropriation. So we're not we're not worried about the conversation. We we there will always be conversation. So but we worry about the effects the of the conversation. This year and the first year this we see people that openly they attack the office on social media. And this is a story. We get the, but plenty, plenty issue. We don't see a whole media audio or video on AYV and, and we say people in the pool issue them, they make audio, they talk about we work, they discredit we work, they try for discredit what we do. This is the first time we don't get that kind of challenge there. And in all, you don't stop there. We don't really see this issue of possible control we want for kind side. So that is really, really, really naive fear. And we will take us a passive fear, but now it don't become a little bit more than what we say as perceived. Yeah, we um, we'll more back where they go around now that now uh, only they give documents to other body them for letter the publish and to the public. How is, to go about that? It is not possible. We get a very robust system within the office. We ensure say we get a full trail of our documents the worker within the office. There is no way, and we get to it. Let me tell you, inside our office we get with condition of service and we get we rules them. In, if in any, in any unlikely event a staff does that, it will be subjected to disciplinary action. But we not say we do that. Day. We don't get issue people. They say, oh, all the report document will come on recently. And I go, all the service key. We have had those documents from 2018. So the Surgeon General's letter, the SP in letter, we don't get it from 2018 in our records. You know, ever find a way to the public. But remember, when you write letters to people, you copy people, you attach and they, you no longer have control. If you write a letter, you copy 10 people. Then. Then ten people, they all then ten people you don't copy, get a document. If you find a way on social media, 
Will you hold us accountable? These are documents that we don't get from 2018. And then in our office, it don't ever go to public. How will you now say that we bring a document here to the public? It's just not correct. People are talking the office bad name. So you say, Una, earlier I ask you about the issue we get for doing with paying on our audit fees into the um, single treasury account or the consolidated fund. You say, Una, they try for consider and make a decision on that. How soon the public go hear from Una? Uh, so, so, well, we, we are an issue where we, we, we know, well, I know I say we know we need to discuss, we need to make things known to the public. Mm -hmm. But at some point, anything will do, it will come to the public. But this is a discussion we don't catch the public eye, especially with the back and forth about when I get rights for do so or I not get rights for do so. So, as I say, this issue of this, um, for whether for move the accounts to Bank of Sagalio, because I'm missing them, now for simply move the accounts from Sagalio Commercial Bank and Bank of Sagalio, and we will still get control. If we still get control over the accounts, as we get control over the accounts with the Commercial Bank, there's no problem, Khadija. But if if they go back Bank of Sagalio, they will not get control over the account. Then it's, 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 it will be an issue. And the good thing is, the last discussion we'll get, they don't tell me say pay money back. Because that was the issue. I can't tell me say pay money back since um, um, 2017. So the fact that the matter away, the FS office don't, don't, make, don't, 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 well, don't forget about that pay money because they know they don't get right for asking for pay money back. Because this money will use so. It was part of our budget. We have reported on it. It has been audited, and it has it is it's a public information. So why will you ask us to pay money back when you know say this money a part of the, the funding for the particular period? All right, that's now Selvin Bell, in a deputy auditor general from Audit Service Salon. Every day we turn at the program where they look at the audit service, then work various audits they wouldn't can conduct from MDA them, and self the report them way they don't the pull and you talk about some challenge them. Where they get your in the term when they do their work. Many thanks, Mr. Bell, where you come at the program this morning. Hope so you will continue for your from audit service as to how now they pull on a various reports then. Thank you so much for having me. Well, now they end the program. Good morning, Salon, for today's edition. Alex Lorenz Kuma and Michael Sambola and then produce the program. DJ Lava, Nangiri Technical Support, Moses Kavora, and in team, and they make on our watch we live now on Facebook. And to all of Facebook viewers, they want to say many thanks for. We want to continue for tuning and watch your programs. Then, me and Kadija Baguga, they say, get yourself a lovely day. And don't forget for listening to the 12 o'clock program, 7 o'clock news, and 9 o'clock within the B. And self, not forget for listening to country music. We will come to you this Thursday afternoon. So, till we meet another time, we will bring this edition to you this afternoon. My name is Man Kamara.